Oh my gosh, it's time for Ninja Steel. It took me damn long to get to the episode, Ninja Steel. Apparently, my lesson today is not to go watch freaking Iron Fist Season 2 all the way through and say, oh, freak it, I don't really, or heck, I think I was sleeping when it was on Sunday, but apparently I should not go to sleep and rest myself on Sunday when I was working six hours a day because getting the freaking episodes hard, Ninja Steel. Anyways, let's get started. Oh, freaking damn it, okay? Tried to do at least three things, three things, and they all failed, and then... It's like, what the frick, man? Really? It's like, oh, you gotta watch it on tablet. You can't never watch it on big TV. It's so once it's gone, it's gone. And it's like, my gosh, please, Hasbro, please fix this. Because... All right, anyways. At school, the Rangers are playing pool like they usually do. And then all of a sudden, Simone Swift, an agent for Swift Marketing. So apparently, I guess she might be the head of it or... That's her own company. I'm not sure. I think she might actually be, she might actually have her own agency and she founded it herself. It's like either that or we don't have any evidence. Anyways, she comes to Levi and next day, hey Levi, we have this burger, this burger joint that actually wants you to do some commercials for you and I'll do lots more stuff and you could actually get lots of money. And what he says is, nah, I'm not, I'm not interested. I'm concentrating on school. Dude, what the fucking hell? I'm pretty sure. Like, for instance, let's. Sorry, I'm sorry, but we got to do some dissing. Pretty sure for Little Romeo. Little Romeo was okay with freaking doing a commercial. He was part of Static Shock. He did that one episode, and he did many other musics. And he was actually in school. So, that excuse is a bunch of crap, Levi. That excuse is a bunch of crap. But anyways, yeah, whatever. So we got this fan named Jess, or Kaz, I'm not sure. I thought it was Jess, but apparently it might be Kaz. And apparently he wrote a letter to Levi a year ago, and he talked about how he liked this certain song, and this song actually got him through from something. So apparently he showed him a signed autograph that he got back, and Levi comes clean and told him, told him, told him you know, my manager wrote that. <laughs> when he's like, yeah, but I think it's true. I would actually hang out with you. And then we go to the damn Monsters and Galaxy Warriors. Oh my god. So anyways, apparently Dread Wolf is the monster of the day. And a, he turned Cosmo into a werewolf. Yeah, so. Finally, we're dealing with the werewolf. We're finally dealing with this werewolf episode content. But will we actually get the results from the werewolf thing? Apparently not. Yeah, apparently not. They, I think the cat lady has this. Yeah, the cat lady's writing this. So it totally sucks. Anyways, yeah, Simone actually is still walking around after the intro. Ninjas do. And she spots Victor the same way. She spots Victor the same way how Matt Webb. Yeah, Matt Webb actually found Andrew Garfield. That the fact that he was eating the sandwich and he screamed, he's a Peter Parker. Same exact thing. He was eating the sandwich and he screamed like, oh, that's our guy for the commercial. So anyways, Mick is outside the base for the first time ever. And of course, yeah, Victor said he'll do it. And actually, Calvin actually drove him. He drove him to the hardware store. And we got to learn more about Mick, just a little tidbit of going to the hardware store is his happy place. Going to hardware stores is just a place where he can actually relax and get stuff. And it's kind of funny. He actually is getting supplies for the school, which is like, oh. And most likely it might be a common thing. So, hey, at least you guys actually put some interesting thought into continuity here. Anyways, Calvin is spotted by the monsters with the buzz cam via buzz cam and the fan of Levi stops him and says, hey, uh, I would like to give me a photo with you in the burger phone and, and the burger camera. It's like, whoa, wow. I don't remember that thing in a long while. It's like, it's been a long while since we actually see him use it, which is like, that's not good. But on the other hand, since they didn't do the idea of where I was talking about where, hey, it's a camera. I'm pretty sure you guys can make a crappy version of the camera. Hey, come on, man. Go with Polaroid. Join forces somewhere and make that freaking thing a reality. 
It's like, come on, you're showing it. You might as well do it instead of just like, oh, well, it's a prop, but it's, it's fun. It's like, no, no, you need to make a freaking toy version of it. But apparently they're not making toy versions of anything these days. So anyways, Levi was able to catch up to the Rangers and they all meet. And the monster, Dread Wolf, is there. They morph, Power Ranger revamp. And apparently he calls them Basher Bots, and I thought they were Bokudo Bots. Yeah, um, what's going on with the continuity of the freaking name of the minions? You guys need to catch up with that. You guys need to stay with that. Yeah, it's kind of like messed up what happened like some episodes earlier when it comes to the first, yeah, in quotation, the first season. Whereas like you called her Madam Odious and you also called her Lady Odious. So it's like, which one is it? <laughs> yeah, it's like Madam Odious it is, but you guys got to go back and change that one episode where you said Lady Odious to Madam Odious. Just saying. So anyways, the Rangers battle. And it was Levi versus Dreadwolf. Levi was a little bit outmatched, but he's still able to kind of hold his own. But he did fall to the ground a few times. And then Mick is there. And I'm like, Mick, morph, you idiot. <laughs> yeah, but he doesn't have the power star, though. It's like, yeah, he doesn't have the power star. It's like, mm, let's see. How does that work, then? Let me try to remember. How did their power stars? So the power stars got destroyed. That technically means that. Mick and Brody's dad still has the freaking ninja stars. It's just that they didn't recover them. So technically they do have broken ninja stars that they could actually revive, but they don't. I mean, the dad is understandable. He's still trying to get his footing around this freaking world. He hasn't been in for a long time. That's understandable. Mick, however, you kind of need to make sure you do it just for protection's sake. Like, for instance, what if the Rangers are out there fighting a monster, but then they're like, oh, we're just going to go over here and destroy some kids, or we're going to kidnap kids from the high school. It's like, well, Mick, you'll be the last defense, man. You need to get the power star. But anyways, Mick can't morph. But still, it's funny to say morph, you idiot. So Levi is up and he was targeted. He's going to get hit by one of those claws that turns into a werewolf. The claw, he dodges it and it ricochets and one of the claws hit Mick, Mick in the back of the head. In the back of the head. Holy frick. In the back of the head. And no idea what happened to the other three claws. I don't know. That's that's I don't understand that part. So apparently one hit Mick and the two others... Ricochet somewhere else? I don't know. Anyways, Dread Wolf leaves because he needs to get more claws. The Rangers check on Mick. Apparently, shop class is happening in 10 minutes. So it's like, oh, good. At least you guys show that. Let's see what they show so far. They show that there's a science class. They show that there's a history class and a shop class. No other classes we got out of this. <laughs> Anyways, the class happens and the fan comes and shows that he has a cowboy hat too. And Levi actually admits to the other Rangers, he doesn't admit to the fan that he's annoying him a little bit. And Brody's like, eh, he's just a fan. Come on, man. I do have to admit, we gotta stop right here and do have to admit, talk about something. It's like the fact that Levi has a bunch of fans. I'm pretty sure this is not his first rodeo with a fan. I think. This is the first rodeo that he has a fan that actually goes to school with him. But technically, when it comes to all this, all the school is most likely fans of him. So technically, they really would like to hang out with him. Heck, it's weird that Victor and Monty doesn't actually hang with him and be like, Hey, I know you have some cool rock star friends of yours, you know, some celebrities. It's like, it's weird that you don't have Victor and Monty actually cozying up to him every single chance they get so they can actually get to another celebrity. And then be a part of the in crowd. Yeah, I'm just saying. It's kind of weird how you don't actually go for that. And it's weird that there's not like a lot of people who's filming and stuff like that. Where it's like paparazzi and stuff like that. Where they're like, oh, I guess they don't really know the real world. The writers don't know the real world. Or because it's a kid's show. Even though it still would be kind of fun though. Where it's like, well, you could actually do like a side story a few times. Where... Victor Amati tries to take photos of Levi, you know, to give to a, you know. Anyways. So Mick is wolfing out. He's now a freaking Wolverine. I mean, werewolf, and he's 
kind of losing control a little bit and Justin stops freaking Levi yet again and Cass tries to get Levi to join him with his friends. Levi declines and he, at the base, of course, we truly see Mick freaking out and going out of control. And Redbot is there, which that's good. I mean, apparently Redbot and Bodana are in the same boat. <laughs> Except Redbot got two episodes while Bodana doesn't even get really truly focused. She's just kind of there, kind of not there. So they have to remove the claw from the back of his head. And he's like, what the frick? And apparently, yeah, like I said, there's three claws I think were shot and only one hit Mick. Okay. Sure, why not? Where's the other two, though? And Levi says the dumb truth. It was like, oh, well, if we take the thing out, and it's like, oh, no, no, he's trying, he's saying, oh, my gosh, so I guess what he wants to do is turn all of us into werewolves. <laughs> it's like, well, duh. That's a dumb comment. Thanks, Cat Lady, for writing that crap. Anyways, Victor practices with Monty for the commercial. The fan is walking by. He meets up with his friends and they diss him saying, oh, you don't know Levi. Yeah, I don't believe you. You're an idiot, man. You you don't have no proof of that. And then the fan gets attacked by Dreadwing. Apparently, there's two claws left that he's able to get. You know, it's like, well, that means you have three or five. Why couldn't you carry all of those with you? Instead, you're like, oh, I got to go back to the ship. And it's like, so you brought three of them and you didn't bring all of them? I mean, the arrows make sense from the previous one with Venom. That makes sense. Somewhat. Somewhat makes sense. But this one doesn't make sense at all. It's like it's pocket size. You could have been able to have all of those on you. Anyways, Victor was hit. Kaz was hit. And <laughs> it's like, damn, man. Scream it to the world that Levi Wesson's the Gold Ranger. <laughs> it's like, scream it to the world. Jeez. So the Rangers actually go... Well, we get to see the Rangers, and Levi's like, oh, crap, Kaz was there. Gotta go check him out. And so they go, and then meanwhile, in a commercial shoot, <laughs> uh, Victor is, yeah. So what happens in a photo shoot? It seems easy to do, but it turns out that he just, just jolts out of glitches, and then all of a sudden, he does a flip on the freaking table, turns to the werewolf. And then start eating stuff, and yeah, he does the commercial as a werewolf. And the fan, the fans, my gosh, the Rangers arrive, and the fan is now a werewolf as well. Dread when we made a mistake, he, he notices that he made a mistake. He said, "Oh damn it!" And then he leaves while Dreadwing retreats. So basically, he actually allows the kid that's affected, the freaking fan, to fight the Rangers while Dreadwolf actually runs a freaking way. <laughs> because apparently he has even more claws, and it's like, what? Why didn't you bring them all down there? You need a freaking damn sack. It's like, are you kidding me? A small little bag. Lady Otis don't have it up there. I mean, Matt Otis knows they have it up there. What the frick? So, Levi actually goes against Kaz, and he apologizes, and he remembers that the song calls him down. He was able to calm him down. He takes the claw out, and well, he's freed. And apparently, the power... I mean, the Nexus power, the Nexus prism had a stupid vision that didn't even need to be known. Yeah, it had a vision that says, oh my gosh, Levi, you're able to wear the lion armor now. And it's like, anyone can wear the lion armor. I mean, what? The fact that you said, oh, it bonded with the Red Ranger. It's like, maybe you shouldn't have said that line those episodes ago then. Yeah, then we didn't really have to waste much time on this whole, oh, the vision. It's like, really? Really? It, it It's pretty stupid to have that vision there. It pretty damn stupid. So Levi actually goes to their system. They capture Dreadwolf and try to actually defeat him. But, well, Dreadwolf is a little bit powerful. Levi was able to get the uh, Armor Star. He uses it. And sadly, Brody says, epic. That's the signature move of freaking Cat Lady when she writes this is that. Anyways, Levi and Dreadwolf is round two. He's wielding two swords this time, and Dreadwolf tries his special for the second time. He tried it first time and knocked him down. This time, he tries it, and it doesn't work, and Levi actually does a freaking finisher of both swords. So the monsters cheer. Of course, it's time to make them big, and then Brody actually summons the Ultra Zord with the original Megazord, which is the first time ever where we're like, oh, 
no plays Megazord? Wow, that's that's interesting. Yeah, you know, me, I'm like, well, why don't you just get the Ultra Zord with the Blaze Megazord? That's part of stuff too. It's like, yeah, you could have just whatever. So the revamp of, of the Zord music. There was new footage where you have Levi actually standing on top of the Lion Fire Ultra Zord. I think that's what it's called. And of course he. Brody was able to summon the Ultra Star Blast Zuka. And Dread Wolf is defeated. Kaz talks to his well, the friend the fan talks to his friends, and Levi comes over with, of course, the other Rangers. And Levi actually talks and apologizes. He's like, oh, I snapped at you. It wasn't cool. And he corrects by saying, Yeah, we're friends. Levi goes to play for the friends and him. And, of course, meanwhile at school, Victor is still a werewolf. And somehow Monty knew. She was, man. Get, oh my gosh, what the frick? Oh, what the frick? Okay, good. Oh, <sighs> my gosh. What the hell? Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to do this and then someone just being a bastard right now. All right. Let's continue on. I'm trying to finish this. So anyways, yeah, so Victor apparently, I mean, Monty somehow knew how to free Victor, and, well, he frees him, and then Simone shows up and says, hey, Victor, we, we're we going to take you all over the world. That freaking, vi that freaking commercial you did was awesome. We're giving you one million dollars, We but the catch is we want you to do the werewolf thing. We're only going to do it with the werewolf thing. And he's like, well, it's hard to do that. And she rips up the check and it's like, are you fucking kidding me? All right, listen, listen. And it's pretty easy for you guys to freaking get him to do makeup and stuff and put the freaking fur all over his face and maybe his arms and do it again. I mean, it's like, I mean, I know, I know. You basically trying to make fun and be like, oh, oh, Victor loses again. Oh, that's so funny. But in truth, it's like, but technically, she would be smart enough to actually say, ah, oh, it's okay if you don't have a thing. We have people who are makeup artists, makeup artists who actually be there to actually do it. All you got to do is just bring out the beast in you. And then it's like, there you go. It's like, and then he just watched the damn commercial that he created, that you guys created, and most likely will shoot. Which, again, it's like, huh, so he should at least got paid for that. If not, then technically, just like I said in the last video, his dad's freaking lawyer will kick your ass. <laughs> but anyways... It's kind of stupid how just because it's like, oh, that's so damn funny. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, 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 oh. Uh, it really is kind of stupid. and like freaking damn. So we're back to where we were. Thanks, Special thanks to Cat Lady and her friend for writing this script. Chances are. But yeah, there we go. Finally able to do this freaking episode. So this is going to get up. So this is going to get up, then I'm going to do the other one, and hopefully, yeah, hopefully on Sunday, I'll actually watch the episode, and then there we go, Ninja Steel!